In this video, let's add a new service listing. As a website admin, you can add listings via the backend by going to the listings add new section or via the frontend listing form. Let's try to add a new listing via the frontend to check how it works for regular users. To add a new listing, simply go to your website and click on the list a service button. This is a listing submission form which contains the basic fields like category, title and description. Let's select a category. Here you can see the image uploader, where you can select the listing images to upload. Here are custom fields that we added previously. Please note that I have added some of these fields behind the scenes. Moreover, as I mentioned earlier, there are no limits and you can add as many attributes as you need. Let's fill in all the fields to add a sample listing. Finally, here are pricing extras that I have enabled previously. Let's add a few. Also, here, a service provider can set some requirements. After completing the form, click on the Submit Listing button. As you can see, the listing is sent for review and the website admin can approve or reject it. Since it's an admin user account, I can go to the Dashboard, Listings section, and change the listing status from pending to published. Once the listing is approved, it should appear on the front end. Let's take a look. This is a page of the listing we created. As you can see, it displays the attributes we created previously, the pricing extras, an image, and so on. After clicking on the Buy Now button, a customer will be redirected to the checkout page. In the same way, I'll add a few more listings behind the scenes, just to have a bit more sample content for the website. Ok, now you know how to add service listings. Let's also post a custom request. As I mentioned before, with Expert Hive you can allow clients to post custom requests, while service providers can bid on those requests and make offers. To do that, click on the Post a Request button. Here is the request submission form. Please note that you can customize this form in the way you like by adding or removing request attributes. I'll briefly fill in all the fields. Now, if moderation is enabled, the website admin has to approve a new request in the WordPress dashboard Requests section. If everything is OK, simply click on the Publish button. Let's check this request. For the sake of this tutorial, I'll register a new service provider profile and make an offer just to show you how everything works. After registration, let's go to the request I just posted. As you can see, here are the details I have mentioned and now service providers can make offers by clicking on the Make an Offer button. Here they can set their bid and mention additional details. Now let's switch back to the admin account and go to the User Dashboard Request section. As you can see, here I can accept an offer. If I accept it, there will be a redirect to the checkout page. 
That's it! Now you know how to add new service listings and post custom requests. So, let's move to the next video, where I'll show you how to create a front page for a service marketplace and customize its styling.